Hello guys, so today let's talk about classic autumn style loss. If you're new to my channel, I'm gonna leave the link on my Kibi Body Types playlist. David Kibi doesn't use classics anymore. He says, everybody tends whether it's a softer version or a sharper version. We're still gonna talk about classics because I actually have requests from people who consider themselves pure classics. And they do say that David Kibi's recommendations for pure classics from his book Metamorphosis work best for them. I've talked about basic layer in this video, summer style loss for classics. I'm gonna leave the link down below or you can click here and watch it first because there I'm talking about dresses, about tops and bottoms, skirts, pants, blouses, tops. Today we're gonna talk more about warm pieces like sweaters, cardigans, jackets, blazers and coats. What is the biggest problem for classics in autumn? I would say sometimes bulkiness and mishmash. They look a bit better when they think their outfit through rather than just throw on different random pieces. So what would be their rule number one for layering? Symmetry looks amazing on them. It doesn't mean that you don't look good in asymmetrical pieces, but it just means that you look stunning in symmetry. Symmetry is not making you too simple looking or too squarish looking. So your shapes can be slightly geometric or slightly curved, but best if they're blended head to toe. So if your top matches the bottom, or your top layer matches the bottom layer, that looks more tidy, more neat on you rather than mix and match approach. You might not look as good in something too much, too sharp, or too ornate, or too intricate, or too mix and match, or too oversized and unconstructed. Some people have this misconception though that classics look boring. Everything that is very dowdy, that is very basic is for them and everything else is not. No, it's not true, but there's always a border where you can start feeling that it's not for you. You can still go for mix and match. You still have to think about how to marry those pieces. If it's too much, you will feel it. Again, with unconstructed things, nowadays it's quite trendy to wear oversized pieces. That's fine, you can go for that, but then just balance it with something narrower. So this one piece would look like one oversized piece. This is your kind of funky addition to your look. That is great. But then when it's too oversized, you start looking slouchy and just not expensive anymore. Again, you're gonna perceive it. When something is too much, too girly, too freely, too cute even sometimes, you also gonna feel it. One or two elements in your look, it's gonna look amazing. Then just balance it with something more timeless, more classic, maybe balance your shape a little bit so it would not be too cropped for example or too exaggerated so for you it's especially important to have that basic wardrobe your capsule preferably that we would be classic colors white beiges blacks navy blues browns camel colors those colors will always work for you you invest in some good quality basic pieces and then you can experiment you can add different kinds of strange and interesting pieces to your wardrobe but this basic capsule will always always bring you back to your balance. Now let's be more specific about the items. First we're going to talk about sweaters. David Kibbe in his book Metamorphosis is suggesting smooth knits, moderate weight, rib knits, and softly textured. Also nowadays striped sweaters are very trendy, so you can go for different kinds of stripes. It can be larger or smaller, but still that timeless classic stripe like this one would always work for you. Polo sweaters, amazing for you. They keep it shaped. They look quite expensive and this is a very timeless piece and this very casual looking actually. Also turtlenecks is your thing. Sweaters that would not be for you is something oversized, baggy, unconstructed. It's totally making you look untidy. If for other types like nachos for example that would look actually chic and cool and even expensive, for you it can kill the elegance. Clingy knits, nubby or roughly textured knits also is not for you. Again, it's an extreme thing. But as far as David Kibbe was writing his book in the 80s, in the 80s rough textured sweaters looked approximately like that. Today's rough textured sweaters can be quite classy looking. Just choose a shape that would be slightly more narrow and more clean in the outline. They will soften the roughness of this piece. Also, David Kibbe doesn't recommend something too cute or girly. I can understand why. It's basically just not your vibe. Cardigan. Many types of cardigans nowadays would suit to classics very much. From short to long, belted or straight. Again, we are talking about extremes here. If it's too slouchy, it's not for you. If it's too girly and flouncy, it's probably not for you. If it's slightly soft and unconstructed looking, it's better if it's narrow. And you can use the belt also to make it closer to your body slightly. That will just look more tidy on you and more neat. Also, amazing option for you would be cardigan that is made as a blazer. They call it knitted blazer, so you can check on the shops. I found several nice pieces for you. I'm gonna leave the links down below. Now let's go to blazers and jackets. 
jackets. Narrow and tailored in standard length is best for you. Chanel style would look amazing. Classic tailored blazers would look amazing. If you want to go for crop blazers or so bolero blazers, it's better if it's narrow but not boxy, not too wide. But just in general, best of blazers are just below break of the hip. Blazer is your thing. You can have it in many colors, in many textures. It can be more casual and more dressy. They look great on top of a dress, top and skirt, blouse and skirt. Leather jacket it's nice if you want to go for that style, but best if it's balanced with something a little bit more timeless, classy, not too slouchy, not ribbed jeans, for example. And also best if it's not too boxy and cropped, too wide. Better if it's slightly narrower and a little bit longer to your hip bone. You can even balance it with something like a silk scarf, also can look nice. If we talk about different kinds of jackets like denim jacket or woolen jacket, but preferably it would not look too slouchy, oversized and long. Better if it's more trim looking and in more classic colors. That just would look a bit more expensive on you. Now blazers and jackets that might not look as good on you is something oversized, it just disbalances you a little bit. Something too flouncy with peplum, but I rarely meet people who wear this kind of jackets, especially for casual style, so I don't think we have any problem here. Now, if we talk about coats, all those classic coats and trenches is your thing. Whether it's short, medium or long, whether it's belted or no belted, you might not look as good and something too cropped just can be slightly not elegant on you, so still it's better if it goes to your lower hip bone here. Something too oversized can look slouchy on you and something too severe, long and sharp can look too heavy on you, so you need something softer. Now shoes. Any classic shoes that you can find in modern shops are gonna work amazing on you. Different kinds of loafers, belly flats, they can be shoes with high heels, whether it's thicker heel or thinner heel, it can be high boots or medium boots. Again, something in classic colors, in classic textures will always work great for you. One thing that David Kivu doesn't recommend in his Metamorphosis book is something too chunky. Chunky boots can be different, but you can always recognize when it's too much. Also, personally, I would not recommend something that is wide around the ankle. I think this kind of boots are not flattering on anyone or almost any body type, I would say. So I would stay away from those. Now let's go to scarves. If it's warmer, whether you can go for silk or chiffon scarf, you can choose beautiful classic patterns. It will freshen your look very much. It can be floral patterns or animal prints and even stripes. All that would look stunning on you. If it's getting colder, you can get woolen scarf or cashmere scarf and wrap yourself up as a blanket. When it's too oversized, again, you will always perceive when it's too much. I just would not go for something too muddy in pattern, something in cheap colors and cheap patterns. And when I say cheap, I don't mean price. I would say just not elegant, too muddy, dirty or something too interesting. But the rest I think will work. Now, if we talk about winter style, I already made a video last year, all the body types in one. I'm gonna leave the link down below. There, I'm talking about puffers, boots, and how to create your silhouette, how still look elegant in winter, which is not easy from my viewpoint, especially when it's cold. Also, I found some amazing pieces for you. All the links are in the description box. Let me know, guys, where are you from? What kind of autumn do you have? Is it super windy or if it's nice and warm? If it's very cold, if it's humid or not humid? I'm just very curious where everybody lives. I'm in Florida, so my autumn is still warm and I love it very much. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.